Yep. Can, can I say that that's not exactly correct because I've said from the start that I would and do support single payer. However, the problem is the votes aren't there. But I'd like to address something that um, Jamie just said. Uh, we, we have a really basically a different philosophy. To me, you know, 47 million uninsured need insurance today. The cost of health care, we have to address that today. Uh, the system that Jamie endorses is not a bad one, but it has 69 co-sponsors at this point in Congress. Uh, it's been out there for so many years. It envisions being phased in once passed over 15 years. We can't wait to go that long before we cover people who are uninsured. We but can't Janet, wait that, that long to address the cost of health care by bringing everybody under the umbrella. All right, quick but response. Janet, I, think that and that I mean, listen to what, what Nikki is saying, that we don't have the political reality is not there. I'm not running to accept the political reality in Washington, D.C. I'm running to create it. And if you are as a camp candidate right now, if you're already saying that you're accepting the political reality in Washington, D.C., how are you going to change it? You need to go down there with strong principles, stand up what you believe in. That's what I've done. I was the only clean elections candidate elected in Massachusetts history. You've got to have that commitment to principle, to progressive values. Otherwise, you're never going to make a difference in Washington, D.C.